This is a good game. Dear God. There's more. No. Man, shut your bitch ass up. What's up, bloodies? I'm back. Oh, shit. I got killed by that thing instantly. gotta say that was an interesting intro and you gotta admit you loved it what's up guys it's me the most practical of agents or practical agent is there in the name and welcome back and i have to say i had a lot of fun with hell drivers 2 it's one of the best games of 2024 if not the best as of right now and frankly speaking i didn't stop enjoying this game at all i i'm currently like whenever i get any free time I am just playing this game as much as I can. That's how fun it is. And I don't yeah, get to do that all that often. This world is so immersive. And to be honest, the way they've made this game in a third person shooter style, just going ahead and spreading democracy everywhere that you go is honestly one of the best things about this game. It's funny, it's super engaging. And honestly, you'll never get bored of it. If you're playing with friends, you're gonna find this game to be super enjoyable. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of crazy moments, a lot of crazy times and you're gonna be dying a lot in this game. What I find so interesting about this game is it is $40. $40 for this game. Most $70 games are not this fun or interesting. Skull and Bone flashbacks, anyone? But that's the point here. Skull and Bones and other games were $70 and could not even deliver what this game could do at $40. And I need to really stress that because this is absurd in 2024. Mind you, I'm talking about a game that doesn't have a story mode and has such an immersive environment that it is captivating to say the least. You're constantly interacting with it. There's so many things to do other than the main mission that you have assigned yourself to. And then on top of all of that, you get bountiless rewards that you can go ahead and spend in the shop to go ahead and to buy guns, equipment, armor, and so on. It makes the gameplay interesting. You can change it up with different airstrikes, with different turrets and whatever else you need to call in and depending on what you have equipped your gameplay is going to be super easy and you're going to be wiping out enemies on the map or you're going to get dominated by whatever is out there destroying you there's a lot of replayability to this game and you can choose to either fight the bugs or fight the machines whichever one you want to do but your entire mission is to go ahead and liberate these places basically you're taking over these planets because you don't like the stuff that's on them because democracy and the missions aren't some just random copy paste missions these missions are like linking up a satellite but then you also have to deal with hives and a swarm of enemies just coming at you it is pure and utter chaos and with friendly fire on you guys are going to get each other killed a lot of times over and over and plus it's fun no one really hates each other because you can't get a mission done it's more you're gonna get out of there laughing and you're just gonna give it another try that's how fun this is now now, other games for some reason can't even get that part right in 2024 alone i'm gonna name two games suicide squad killed the justice league and skull and bones now these are not in the same genre as hell divers 2 i completely get that but that doesn't excuse it from the fact that it is a game that you can play at its core the thing here is is that when suicide squad released within the first week it was released it died no one gave a shit to play that game after that and for skull and bones in the beta everyone said what the problems were and the devs did not care to listen actually i would say it was more ubisoft did not give a shit and then on top of that they gave you random excuses as to why you couldn't even swim in the game swimming on a pirate game is not there how do you even do that what level of comprehension do you need to understand that hey 
I'm in open water. I guess I should have characters that can swim, but oh no, I can't do that. Come on, not even sword fighting, nothing. But when we talk about Helldivers 2, that's where the interesting part comes. Because in Helldivers 2, I never feel that there's a mechanic or a core gameplay that's just missing. I always feel like everything was curated to what the game was and I was actually having a lot of fun. I was even talking to my teammates, whether it be, you know, my friends or people I was randomly queuing with, I felt like I was super invested into what I was doing. And I was blaming myself for not really utilizing what the game gave me. I was too overwhelmed with the situation around me and that was fun. That was what I was experiencing. That is what a gamer wants. And I still am sitting here where Suicide Squad and Skull and Bones have company that back them, that have so much money to fund them. And Helldivers 2 was on an old engine. Yeah, here we are in 2024 where they were able to go ahead and break their servers or not have enough capacity for the amount of people that were so desperate to play it. You can't tell me at any point that Skull and Bones and Suicide Squad, you can't tell me that they were good games to begin with when you bring Helldivers into the entire situation. And if anyone tries to go ahead and say, but they're not in the same genre or but, but, but whatever excuse I have to say, I don't give a shit. A fun game is a fun game. I don't care if you're into looter shooters. I don't care if you're into, I don't know, Barbie playtime adventure. If the game is fun, then it is worth the damn money. But if the game is just dog shit to say the least, and it's just a cash grab, then I'm gonna call it a cash grab. I can't wait to see what the creators do from this point forward with this game and with other titles in the future, because I'm actually excited. We actually have a studio that's willing to put out good content and this game is going to be played a lot and also i'll go ahead and say that this is a game that people are going to remember they're going to remember this fondly and they're going to hope that if there's going to be a helldivers 3 or a helldivers 4 it is better than helldivers 2 it is still the same fun replayable chaotic mess that it is because that's what we want we want fun and until other game studios can understand what the fuck we want i don't think anyone else will except for them anyways with that being said if you like what you saw just like comment subscribe dislike it if you dislike it and practically i'm gonna be wasting my life playing this game see ya bye Call L2 and not me.
drop the samples whenever you need. Grab the samples. Where are they? Okay, I got him. Go, 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 go. Holy shit, man.